A student asked, is the word canceled spelled with one L or two? Interesting question. Actually, both spellings are correct. Canceled with one L is more common in American English and canceled with two L's is more common in British English. Let's see some examples. It's raining pretty hard. Do you think the festival will be canceled? The flight was canceled due to dangerously high winds. The concert was canceled at the last minute, disappointing many fans. If the most important client can't attend, then the meeting should be canceled and rescheduled. How about traveled, one L or two? It's similar, both spellings are correct. And again, traveled with one L is more common in American English, and the version with two L's is more common in British English. Here are some examples. Last summer, we traveled to Europe and explored many historic cities. The hikers traveled through dense jungles to reach the hidden waterfall. After graduating from college, she took a year off and traveled the world. My dad frequently traveled for work, visiting clients and attending conferences around the world. Let's check this for a few other verbs ending in L. The past tense of signal is signaled with one L. The police officer signaled for the cars to stop. The past tense of excel is excelled with two L's. For example, my brother excelled in school. He was at the top of his class. The past tense of control is controlled with two L's. Careful, if you mix those two chemicals, the reaction can't be controlled. And the past tense of propel is propelled, again, with two L's. For example, the powerful engines propelled the spacecraft into orbit. So now you know, when it comes to the spelling of canceled and traveled, you can't go wrong. One L or two, both are correct. It just depends on if you're following American English or British English spelling conventions. If you loved this lesson, make sure to download all our past Ask the Teacher lessons by clicking on the link in the video description. If you want more great English lessons, visit EspressoEnglish.net, where you can sign up by email to receive a free ebook with 500 plus real English phrases. You'll also find online courses to help you improve your English fast, even if you don't have much time to study. Keep practicing your English, and I hope you have a wonderful day.